Hi guys, welcome back to Princess Chaos. It is me, Lila, and today I have a new plush review. So I am sorry that I hadn't been posting videos for a while. It's because we moved into a new apartment and we've been having some internet issues, so I couldn't be able to do videos. But now we got the internet fixed, so now here I am. But yeah, I still hadn't been posting after that, uh, that new cap cut edit that I did on my YouTube shorts. But, uh, yeah, I have, uh, a plush review of plushies that, two, um, some plushies that are new, well, kind of new, because I got them, like, a while ago, but, like, uh, if you guys have remembered my last video, well, like, a video from last year, from, like, September, I think. I got a Mr. Stripes plushie from Mr. Ops Playhouse 2, and I reviewed it to you guys. And you guys know that it was just Mr. Stripes and not Mr. Hops and Miss Bo, because I couldn't find them at time, that time, because, uh, I couldn't find them at eBay, but, yeah. Well, when it became Christmas in 2022... Uh, my mom said that there was going to be some late Christmas presents that were coming, and, well, look what they are. I have the whole trio. So, yes, guys, I have the full set of all of the Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2 plushies. So, let's get reviewing them. I got these back in January on the 7th, I think. Yeah, I think it was the 7th, or maybe the 5th, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. It was, like, a while ago. But, I got these, and I made this cool little craft. This is supposed to be the donated toy box from Mr. Hobbs Playhouse 2. If you guys have played Mr. Hobbs Playhouse 2, then you would see at the beginning of the game, uh, that this was in the game. And, guys, I will be doing a video soon of me playing Mr. Hop's Playhouse Manor Escape. So, if you want to go check that video, make sure to wait until it comes out. Alright, uh, let's just get into this unboxing. Well, it's- oh, not an unboxing, a review, sorry, sorry. Let's get into the review. So, first, let's actually take a look at this box. I actually made this. It says donated it says donated toys and I just took a cardboard box that I found next to the trash can don't worry it wasn't in the trash can it was just next to it thank god but uh yeah and then on the back right here it says black manners orphanage 1952 cuz that was the year the game uh, was, like, in the universe of Mr. Ross Playhouse 2, that was the year. So, yeah. This isn't actually on the back of the box. Well, I don't know. It might be. I just wanted to add this tip for my little own detail, but, yeah. Alright, let's get into the moment you guys have all been waiting for. The plushies. And yes, we are still going to be reviewing Mr. Stripes, because it wouldn't be a complete video without him, but yeah. Alright, so the first plush that we're going to be reviewing is the main bunny himself, Mr. Hops. And he looks really good. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I didn't get, like, the makeshift official Moonbit plushie, well, it's because I did. I wanted to get that for, like, uh, Christmas in 2021, but I didn't know how to go to makeshift back then, but now I do, but... Yeah, so, I can only find these ones, but, back then, I didn't really wanted these, but then, a couple of years later, like, when 2022 came, I regretted it, and now I got these. I'm so sorry I didn't get you, but, anyways, let's review him. So, let's take a look at his ears, and his ears actually have Ys in them. Uh, all the Mr. Hop's Playhouse plushies have wires in them, but... 
Uh, Mr. Hobbs is the only one who has wires in his ears. Mr. Stripes and Miss Bo do not. They only have wires in his legs, but... And their legs, yeah. But... So here are the big yellow eyes, the possessive eyes. And then here we have, uh, his nose. I actually like how they use a hard nose, kind of like the Finance of Freddy's plushies. Like, I wish I could, uh, uh, like, I wish I could have a Finance of Freddy's plushie to show you, like, an example but I don't have a Finance of Freddy's that has this nose. The only Finance of Freddy's plushie that I has is this is my Circus Baby plushie that I got for Christmas last year. But she has a sewn-in nose and not a hard one. So looks like you won't be getting a comparison. But that's okay. That's okay. And then here we have his sharp teeth and his whiskers, which are very, very good. Yes, they're very, really good. And then here we have his hand that actually has claws on them. That gives them a really good touch. And then here we have his big red bow. It's very fluffy. And then his blue pants and his feet, which are just the same. And, of course, they're bendable because this is a bendable plushie. But, yeah, that's Mr. Hops. Alright, so the next plush that we're going to be doing is Mr. Stripes, the one we already did a review on, but we're going to do it again, because it wouldn't be this video without him. But yeah, so here's his face. He has the possessive eye and the button eye, and his nose is a little crooked. I don't know how they did that, but uh, it's still a great plush, I'm not going to lie. And then here we have his sharp teeth. Yeah, I remember doing a TikTok of this. It was really, really hilarious how I put my finger to his teeth and I made it look like he'd bite me. Oh my god. Maybe you guys should go see that TikTok. And don't worry, I will be still posting on my TikTok too. I'm just waiting for a time to actually post it. But yeah. Anyways, back to the review. Here we have his hands with the stripes on them. And then here we have his tie. I have said this in the last video that I did of him, but I really like the fabric for the tie because it actually feels like a real tie. Like, this is just such good stuff. Like, yeah, but it's really good. Really good quality fabric for the tie. And then here we have his tail that you can play with. And then here we have his big pla uh, black pants. Sorry, guys. My mouth is just not letting me talk today. But And then here we have his feet, which are just the same like the other ones. And then, yep, that's Mr. Stripes. And the last but not least and final one, Miss Bo. The one that apparently uh, a lot of people don't like Miss Bo. I don't know why. Oh, wait, I know, because she's freaking Molly's toy! I'm sorry, guys, but it is true. Uh, Miss Bo was Molly's toy because she chose her. But, uh, yeah. Let's just get into review. So, here are her big yellow eyes and her rosy cheeks, which makes her look like the toy animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But, yeah. And then here we have her big pink bow. And her sharp teeth to tomp you down. <laughs> nah, she wouldn't do that. And then here we have her heart on her chest. It's really good. And then here we have her hands, which are a little weird, because two of her fingers are apparently bigger than the others. But it's still a good quality plushie, even though it's unofficial. And then here we have her big pink pants and her feet, which are just the same. I don't know why I keep got, I keep showing you her feet, but yeah. You get to go over there because you're Molly's toy. And that is it for my Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2 plushie review. I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one.
Bye.